I am Judy Mancuso with Social Compassion in Legislation. We are the sponsor of SB 1249. Our co-sponsor is Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, who is here too. And the author and the hero of our bill is Senator Kathleen Galgiani. Thank you so much, and thank you to all of our volunteers and Judy and Social Compassion and Legislation for all of the tremendous work that has been done to provide voices to our, our lovely animal friends who have no voice and who have no ability to defend themselves. The job you have done thank has you. been absolutely incredible. California has a long history, over 18 years actually, of prohibiting in-state animal testing for cosmetic products. But while we led the way, the law, however, has stayed silent about the importance of the importation or sale of cosmetic products that are tested elsewhere and brought into California for sale. While a similar measure to our measure is now in Congress, the Humane Cosmetics Act, it has not moved. And thus, California is doing what California normally does when Congress does not act. And that is that we are going to move forward and lead the way. SB 1249 grab, grandfathers in thousands of current cosmetic ingredients up until the year 2020. And so I largely believe that a lot of the fear and the opposition to change is really the fear of the unknown, especially when we have currently hundreds of companies that already provide California consumers with a cruelty-free product like Lush Cosmetics, who is here with us today. At some point, we need to be truly committed to a cruelty-free standard for all cosmetics sold in California, and that point is now. And I believe that SB 1249 brings the right balance to this important goal. After getting resounding bipartisan support in the Senate with Democrats and Republicans coming together to vote in favor of it, SB 1249 now faces an important vote on the assembly floor. We have wonderful partners in the assembly that are helping us push SB 1249 through, such as principal co-author Ash Kalra, who is with us here today, and who will be speaking to us very shortly as well as co-authors such as Assemblymember Richard Bloom, Yay, Richard. Assemblyman Jesse Gabriel, and Assemblywoman Monique Lamone. Yay. These folks are real champions, and we greatly appreciate their teamwork and being heroes for animal rights. I'm so proud of all of the people who have worked so hard to get us to this point, and the many senators and assembly members who have voted for the bill so far as well. We need all of us working together to have our voices heard and saying that we need SB 1249 to pass. By working together, we'll be successful in fundamentally ending animal cruelty testing on cosmetics. I think that you would agree that you shouldn't have to hurt an animal to look your best. Thank you again, and I'll turn it back over to Judy Mancuso. So as Senator Galgiani said, our principal co-author is with us, and he will be the jockey floor manager for us on the assembly. So next up, I'd like to introduce Assemblymember Ash Kaura. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Everyone feel, everyone feel good today? I had some ice cream, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have more after this. Uh, I just want to say how proud I am to be a principal co-author of SB 1249 to protect animals from cosmetic, uh, cosmetic testing. And I really want to thank uh, the Physicians Committee and Social Compassion in legislation, in particular Judy Mancuso, who's been such a champion. I've really enjoyed getting to know her and, and her passion uh, to protect our animals during this process. And I especially want to thank our, our champion, Senator Galgiani, who who's just done a phenomenal... Uh, and Coco, um, 
who have done just a, a phenomenal job of really leading this, this tough bill, this righteous bill, but righteous bills can sometimes be tough to get through, getting to this point. Uh, she and her staff have done a tremendous job uh, in terms of getting us where we are today. And look, we know that for more than 50 years, unfortunately, um, animals have been used in painful tests uh, to assess the safety of chemicals used in cosmetic, uh, cosmetic products. Not only is this practice inhumane, but unnecessary where lab alternatives exist. Furthermore, we also know that consumers are increasingly demanding the just treatment of workers, animals, and the environment alike. It is time, being the fifth largest uh, economy in the world, yeah. being a nation among, within ourselves with almost 40 million people, it's time for us to join the European Union, Switzerland, India, Israel, Guatemala, and many more countries that have banned or restricted animal testing on cosmetics, including the sale, no matter where the cosmetics come from. So ultimately, ultimately we know that people use cosmetics uh, to look good and feel good about themselves. But no matter how good you look, you cannot feel good about yourself knowing the products you're putting on your body cause so much injury, harm, pain, and death. You just can't. And so I'm excited about having this bill hit the assembly floor uh, with partners like Assembly Member Richard Bloom. We're going to make sure that we get the votes to get this bill through the assembly. We're going to make sure, and working with our champion, Senator Galagiani, that we send a message to the governor that this bill yeah. must be signed. So. Thank you all so much for being here, and please join me in supporting SB 1249, such an important legislation uh, for those that do not have a voice to speak up for themselves. Thank you. Thank you, and I want to thank um, also Ben and Jerry's for the vegan ice cream, and Lush Cosmetics for being here and giving away stuff, and HSUS as well is here. And uh, so next up is Assemblymember Richard Bloom, who is also a co-author. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Judy. Thank you to all the great uh, supporters of this bill. Senator Galgiani is on to something here, as are you. It doesn't happen without your support, though. So keep the pressure on. Make sure that um, you're contacting your assembly members so that this vote is a success. Uh, we only have a couple of weeks left, but what I want to tell you is a couple of years ago, on a somewhat related matter, we had a bill that said we can't, we shouldn't have little plastic microbeads in our personal care products. Yeah. The industry said, but we don't have any alternatives. We have to use plastic. It turned out to not be true. Um, plastic microbeads are now forbidden in personal care products not just here in California, but throughout the country. So the, the message, is, and then these were dangerous because they were washing down the drain, escaping our water filtration systems, and going out into the ocean and our waterways, and polluting them, and also being consumed by fish and waterfowl. So it was an important environmental issue. The message to you is that this can be done, we can succeed, we will succeed, so Keep up the good work. Thank you. Next, uh, we have a guest that we're so appreciative that she has made time to come to Sacramento on this hot summer day to help the animals. She is a very famous actress. She's a famous animal activist and an author, and that's Alicia Silverstone. Hi. Um, I'm Alicia Silverstone, and thank you for having me here. I absolutely want to get SB 1249 passed, and um, I feel like I've been using uh, cosmetics that are cruelty-free for 25 years plus. It's easy to do and still be able to work in my industry and feel my best and look my best. There's no reason I want chemicals in my body anyway. And um, so it's really easy to do. There's all kinds of alternatives. This is a no-brainer. This bill must get passed. And I feel like all the people in California, 
if they had given the option to choose between something that's tested on animals and something that isn't, they would choose it not to be. Yeah. They, so it's just sometimes too hard to make those choices because they don't have the time or the money or the information. So let's take that out of the equation, make it easy for them, allow them to just know that they are being conscious consumers because it will not be, there's nothing bad in them. There's no more harming animals. We can just feel good about the products we're purchasing. And um, also, we don't have to boycott, because I boycott products all the time. So conscious consumers would no longer have to boycott <laughs> products, because they could just celebrate that they're all good and clean. So let's make this happen. Thank you. OK, next up is our co-sponsor, Elizabeth Baker, from Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. SB 1249 is backed by solid science. Today, animal testing does not need to happen to ensure safe cosmetics. Many effective non-animal methods are available for assessing the safety of cosmetics in a cruelty-free manner. Many companies have decided to operate without animal testing, and their products are still thoroughly tested for safety. Their products indeed are safe, and their businesses are thriving. By voting yes on SB 1249, the California legislature will lead the world in ensuring that no new cosmetics are tested on animals anywhere in the world. Thank you. Next, I'd like to bring up the state director of HSUS, the Humane Society of the United States, Crystal Moreland. Hi, everybody, and thanks for being here today. The Humane Society of the United States has put forth many campaigns to end the use of animals in the cosmetic testing arena for decades. Federal Food and Drug Administrations prohibit the sale in mislabeled and adulterated cosmetics, but does not require that animal tests be conducted to demonstrate that cosmetics are safe, and yet testing on animals continues. Given California's position as a leader in the biotech marketplace, new investments and jobs are being produced with more to follow if SB 1249 becomes law. For example, the EU has reported that there have been no negative impacts on jobs from their cosmetic testing ban, citing that a lot of their 1.7 million jobs depends on their ability to innovate and create new products to grow the cosmetics industry that is directly linked to their ability to validate alternative testing. Alternative, testings, uh, alternative methods of testing, not only for cosmetics, but for other industries is a rapidly growing sector when SB 1249 passes, it will help our economy by generating more jobs here in the United States in this sector as well as its position in California to stand proudly at the forefront of compassionate legislation. Thank you. And um, obviously you've heard from a lot of animal uh, folks and the elected officials, but now uh, the the company that has been doing this so robustly for, uh, around the globe, Lush Cosmetics, we have Hillary Pickles with us to talk about Lush. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hillary Pickles, and I am here today representing Lush Handmade Cosmetics Incorporated, our United States retail business, and Lush Handmade Cosmetics Limited, our Canadian retail and manufacturing businesses. Manufacturing and selling cruelty-free cosmetics and transparency into our supply chain have been core values since the inception of Lush in North America more than 20 years ago. Those values have allowed us to grow our business exponentially over the last two decades. In fact, our global brand sales last year exceeded $923 million, and this year we are looking to hit our first billion dollar year. We are no longer a small presence in the cosmetics market. At Lush, we wrote our company non-animal testing policy to exclude suppliers not just testing on animals for cosmetics purposes, but testing for any purpose. We are proof that a successful business can create innovative product and reach a global customer base without ever having used an animal tested ingredient. Lush is so happy to support SB 1249, the California Cruelty-Free Cosmetics Act. And if you haven't seen the girls at the back table yet, they actually have Charity Pot, one of the wonderful products that we create, to give to you as a gift today. So go and see them if you haven't already. Thank you so much. 
And we also like to thank our the, the poor rat here who was tested upon. Can you show them your back, what they did to you, please? Can you move around and show them how bad they injured you for no good reason? See, this is what we're trying to prevent. There's no need to do that. So last but absolutely not least, we have Kathy Gallimero, and I hope I didn't uh, uh, kill her name, but it, she's from People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, and a pioneer in the field who's been working on this since 1989. Kathy? Thank you. My name's Kathy Guillermo. I'm Senior Vice President of Laboratory Investigations at PETA, and I've been working since 1989 to end cosmetics tests on animals. Back then, we knew of about nine companies that didn't test on animals. Now, if you go to our list online, you will find more than 3,400 companies around the world who are committed never to test on animals anywhere in the world. We help consumers find those cruelty-free cosmetics, and thanks to consumer pressure, companies know that there are modern approaches that are cheaper and more effective. On behalf of PETA and our more than half million members and 335 cruelty-free companies in California, we're pleased to be part of the coalition to pass SB 1249. Thank you. So um, thank you, that wraps it up, and we can definitely take uh, any questions or do breakout interviews afterwards. Does anyone have a question before we move on? Okay, then we'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. And yes on SB 1249. Okay, actually, we had two more speakers. I'm so sorry, so sorry. Okay, uh, next I'm going to bring up Katie Cleary from, I, so sorry, it's so hot, I'm trying so hard. Katie Cleary from World Animal News and Peace for Animals. It's okay, she forgot us. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, it's really important to advocate for the voiceless. Uh, as a former model and advocate for a cruelty-free world, um, I always, uh, being on set on America's Next Top Model and Deal or No Deal, I always said, you know what, I really don't want to support cruelty and I want all of my products to be cruelty-free. And then um, soon enough, everyone caught on. So it was a, it was a huge success on uh, the various uh, shows that I've done. And I think that we can lead the way as um, a cruelty-free world and a cruelty-free um, you know, economy here in California and I think the rest of the world can follow. Um, there are plenty of alternatives. Uh, Lush Cosmetics, as we've heard from, uh, John Paul Mitchell has always been cruelty free and uh, they actually do sell to China. So um, there are many alternatives and uh, just go to Sephora, go to all the big um, you know, uh, cosmetic counters and ask for cruelty free and they will point you in the right direction. Look for the leaping bunny if it says not tested on animals. Likely it is not tested on animals. If it doesn't state if it's tested on animals, then they test on animals. So please, um, you know, educate yourselves. Uh, Cruelty Cutter is a great, great app, um, and there's many online platforms to educate yourselves. And let's make California cruelty free. Yeah. Okay, and last but not least is our Vice President uh, of Social Compassion Legislation, Simone Reyes. And thank you guys for staying out with us in the heat. Your karma is really good right now. Um, as more and more undercover investigations come out exposing animals being burned, blinded, brain damaged, and tortured, consumers have come to care about the miserable, lonely, and shockingly cruel lives that laboratory animals must endure. Multiple polls show that U.S. consumers support ending animal testing for cosmetics, and a 2015 Nielsen poll found that the words not tested on animals was the most important consumer packaging claim for respondents across all age groups. That means something. The passage of SB 1249 will make California the epicenter of alternative testing and compassion in the United States. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And, and uh, lastly is Jane Velez Mitchell, award-winning author and journalist. Jane. Yeah. Wrap it up, Jane. I'm going to just wrap it up by saying 
that cruelty is not beauty, but cruelty free is beauty. Let's pass SB 1249, the Cruelty Free Cosmetics Act. California can lead the way to compassion. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.